Well, hello, it's Bears back. I got a lock for you today. It's a Sesame. It's the 533 series brass. Um, there's all your info. Um, they also come, all these come with this little screw here. It's kind of like a grub screw, long grub screw. They can change, they change it from Kiri, um, I think non key retaining to key retaining say uh, it'll it'll lock it up when you're like that so um, you have to you know do your thing lock it back before you can get it out of there but we're gonna give this one a shot oh let me show you the bit teen on this and that's it right there guys it may look simple, but it's a little tough. These uh, these little bad boys require kind of a, for me, a medium to heavy tension. Um, hopefully, I can get this picked. We shall see. Well, I'm not feeling nothing there. Springy, springy, springy all the way up. Oh, man. I don't feel anything. Wow. I got nothing. Hang on. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, man. Okay. That was, I think, two. Um. I've got a lot of pressure on my, on this thing, and I got a couple clicks out of one feels like um, mm. ooh got something back here I think it was three I'm not sure Problem is I gotta put so much pressure on it, I don't know if I'm getting any counter to this. Hmm. Oh, got it. It was on I got it on one, number one, right there. Whoa. That is a really strange pick, guys. Um I couldn't even tell that I was getting any um, getting anywhere on it. Um, oh crap! Ah, uh, where's my other my other screwdriver? Where'd it go? Oh boy. Um. Mm-hmm. Where are you? Where'd you Where'd you go? You were right here. I am sorry guys, this is ridiculous. Um did I mention this was for stock lock Sunday? I don't want to break that little where oh I must have used it on something else and moved it from here. Okay, we're we're still gonna try to get this with this one. I don't want to break this though. Man. That thing is tough. Oh, this is just wrong. All sorts of wrong. Where did it go? I put it in another box, folks. Sorry about that. Boy, oh man, oh man. Can't believe I did that. Yeah. That's a lot easier.
Let's get a painting tray down here. There we go. <clears throat> and that does have a plate in it, guys. Anti-bypass plate. Okay. Um, we are unlocked, as you see. Uh, this little clippy on the back. Where's my clippy remover? I just had it right here, too. Easiest thing in the world and it won't do it. Okay. Yeah. Shh. Went through all that. I, wow. I spun it all the way over the other, other way. That's cool. All righty. Yeah. Yeah, I wish him. Yeah, what the heck. Uh oh. Yeah, you little booger. Where'd it go? I don't know. There it is. That's number one. Bear with me, guys. Sorry about the lighting. Um. Okay, where are you? Well, this is a stock lock, so here we go. That shot right out of there. All righty. Of course, there's nothing done anywhere else, and we don't make me chase these. Get up there. Doesn't really matter. They're all the same springs. Um, this what's in the, um, yeah, some of them are upside down, but you get the gist of it. Got some regular standard spools. And it looks like number two here is actually an anti-bump pin. Let's see if this is um, altered for anti-bump. Yep, it's altered for anti-bump. Uh, and if, if you don't know what that means, guys, here I'll show you. It means that this, this pin is actually, my dog quit landing against my leg. If I can do this without losing it, is actually the bottom of it fits the cylinder, but the that's it. See, it leaves a gap in here between this the your key pin and your driver pin. So if you bump it, it just bounces in here and doesn't push this up, and that's the idea of an anti-bump pin. So this one actually has anti-bump. And three spools. So pretty cool. Um, and that's it. That's the, the sesame, guys. Um, I love these locks. I think they're great for the money and, and all that. Um, the 533 series. Um, okay, that's it.
Thanks for watching. This is for Stock Lock Sunday, just in case I didn't say it before. <laughs> Stay legal and have fun, guys. Bye.